Coming face to face with some fast flyers here. Four baby falcons hatched in a special nest atop of a Duke Energy station, and they were taken down today. WLWT News 5's Eric Zarnitz takes us to the Miami Fourth Station for the banding of the birds in a story you will see only on WLWT. Peregrine falcons are some of the fastest birds on the planet, and the only way to get to their chicks is to go up more than 400 feet to their nest. Most enjoy a scenic view, but this one is for the birds, literally. Lodged on the side of a smokestack, a falcon family with four chicks live in this little box, accessible to the peregrines and about a couple billion others. How many times have you climbed up on smokestacks to get peregrine falcons? Several, because um, they're popular spots for falcons. These peregrine falcons are cliff nesters in a more natural setting, so they've adapted to um, cities and us being here by nesting on high structures. While few take the three-man elevator to make a personal visit, a live stream has been made available to the public to watch their progress. You can check it out at WLWT.com. I mean, everybody feels like they're part of it. I mean, everybody in the plant comes and asks you what's going on, or they wash the monitor, they'll come up. And in fact, I'll be, we got shift workers here that work around the clock, and I'll come in the morning, and they'll come running up, hey, Art, one of the babies hashed out last night. Workers at Duke Energy's Miami Fort Station watched them hatch months ago, and today had a chance to visit up close as employees from ODNR logged the newest additions. Today we put bands on them, and those bands will help us monitor them, their movements, their lifespan, things of that nature, where they might be nesting on their own someday. The birds of prey are considered threatened in the state of Ohio and have to be monitored. But don't worry, these guys know what they're doing. You can touch the birds, and the mother will still return to the nest. Now that the chicks have been tagged and inspected, they're being put back in their nest, and mom, well, she should be real happy. Reporting from North Bend, Ohio, Eric Zarnitz, WLWT News 5. Now, the Miami Ford Station project to attract uh, these falcons started back in 1993. Last year, the eggs failed to hatch.